Hello and welcome to another iRacing video or welcome to the open setup TCRs. We are racing for a whole 30 minutes around the fantastic Road America. We just got to get this thing off the line, try and stay safe. And then you get on the grid and you realize you didn't minutes. actually fill up properly. So we are in trouble already. Okay, yeah. <laughs> get ready. Go, go, go. Let's see what we could do. We've got a pit stop coming. Unplanned. Because I forgot to refuel after qualifying. Please don't eat me, please. Please go. So these guys, in theory, are going to be loaded up with fuel. Me? No, I've only got about three laps. <laughs> That's a rookie mistake, but then I don't do open setups where I need to change the fuel very often. Left side. Thank you! I'll probably end up driving really well today, you wait and see. I've got to go and then get a pit stop in. I think luckily I've got Jim set up to auto refuel, so uh, hopefully I don't have to think about how much fuel I've got to put in whilst I'm trying to race. Because that will be a bit of a mini disaster as well. I was going to try and hold on to it through the kink. So, unless something crazy happens, I guess I'm looking at a bit of a poor result. <laughs> I must need to pressure these guys into some sort of error. You keep fighting, that'll help me out, that'll help me out. <laughs> <laughs> two laps, I think. Oh, slideys. Still cold, these tyres. see of this top eight I'm the only Honda here well, there's a few cars in the pits so I might not come last it's really my only hope it's got to be the target now is to somehow not come last in half an hour racing. You're lucky I saw you come there, but rapid that was not fucking turn in. Oh, way too wide, way too wide, way too wide. Just chop trying to get an idea of how many laps I've got left. Oh, Jim will tell me, Jim will tell me. And let me know when I'm running on fumes and I must pit. Are you, Jim? <laughs> oh, the guy in front's getting squirrely as well. Everybody 
be oh, it's going to get a big freebie in a moment. Come on. Quite handy, I am building a little bit of a gap, but two and a half seconds, so I think I might be in the pits for a bit longer than that. <laughs> certain points. Yeah, I've used half my fuel, Jim, and there's still a long way to go. 2.1 laps, I can see now. I don't really have to look over there. Both up with this. So I've got some big ground to make up when I do my pit stop. Is that? Do I make it early? Just get it over and done with. So I just wait until the last moment. Just get out there on my own. Get on with it. It's difficult because Mr. Mr. Pinto is dragging me along at the same time, so. But it also feels like he's slowing me up a little bit. Get it done. Pit lane speed limit is 72 kilometers per hour. Okay, we're way too to slow. The Box in 520. I had a moment meters. there where I, I did a double tap the. Johansson 219.91. We're coming in, Jim. I'm coming in. Where are you, Jim? Where are you, Jim? Well, we're plummeting. We are going to be last of those that are running. Box I think. in five, four, three. Two, one, box now. Yours going in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, lollipop man, hurry up. Oh, this is taking so long. I am going to need a miracle to recover. Detectives clear. Right, here we go. Let's get on it. Right, this is going to make it a little unexciting now, isn't it? Because now we're just looking at an empty track and me running around looking like I'm just doing hot laps. But let's see what we can do. See if we can pull something out of their bag. We're 11th. We're currently losing a whopping I 80 I rating. <laughs> in front of doing 222s, 223, so that's going to take some closing up, isn't it? Our best is a 221. That was our best. If we drive like that, that won't be our best. He just done a 219. Tires have cooled down a little bit. It's been so long since I've even done a pit stop in live at a race. The 
it's like even the kink. Can I take it a bit faster now? I've got a bit more fuel. Car's laden a little bit. Actually, my approach is actually a little bit slower. Well, that's a better exit. Left. That's what I can do, Jim, with a heavier car. So although this is open setup, I'm actually just using the sprint setup. So I'll be honest, I tried the VRS setup, and I didn't make it past the kink of both outlaps. The rear just went. So I thought, I'm going to stick with the sprint setup. It's a bit safer. Hopefully you can keep it on the track. 26 seconds. I've got to make up. I am really hoping for incidents. Not my own incidents though. Oh well, look, time dip, dipping away now. No, we're not in anybody's slipstream along the straight. one of my videos back the other day. I didn't really realise how much I moved my hands on the steering wheel in terms of just fiddly stuff. Not actually steering, of course. Just doing this. <laughs> Fastest lap for your hands. 290. Oh, oh, oh. Keep it in. Put in. That's it. I only lost a little bit there. Please, Ian. Yes, Jim. Yes, Jim. Sorry, Jim. Two twenties. Two nineteen eight. That is a brilliant lap time. Those guys are flying. I can confirm I was nowhere near that. that's in the pits but I kind of need you to be in there a long time
left, that's 15 minutes. That's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. It's still only at 20 runs. E10. Well, it's top ten. I'm guessing the other guy had an incident because he lost about three seconds there. since I've raced a car for 30 minutes. Usually 25. <laughs> Hopefully that extra five minutes is gonna make all the difference. Although this car's a little bit more physical than the uh, kit. Oh, oh, incident in Canada corner. Let's hope it's a tasty incident. Sorry again to whoever that's impacted. Let's not be another incident at Canada Corner, oh, that's good, thank you. <laughs> Bar in the grass. Quick excited, I saw a car, I'm gonna get a top 10 here. Minus 54. E9. I would have been at 220 if I'd not messed that up, Jim. Might have to get brave and try and uh, reduce the downforce. Which does sound slightly ironic because it's on minus 2 now on the sprint setup, but the VRS setup was minus four for the rear wing. 19 seconds. 19 seconds, still got 12 minutes to go. Proof anything can happen. You could get some plonker on the grid, he didn't fill up enough. Do what these tyres do when you get beyond 15 minutes. Or have they just stay together quite nicely? to the optimal lap, I'm up to 20.2. I certainly am not stringing that together, but I guess that's because that optimal lap involved a lot of slipstream in Mr. Pinto. Whereas I don't get that pleasure now, I'm just out here all on my own, pushing my own air to one side. At least I did make a grass trip that time. Yeah, it's 220.144. I, I mean, that would be amazing if I got anywhere near that. Good luck. That's your best in the session. Oh, thanks, Jim. Too late there, Jim. Okay, Ian. Keep it nice and smooth. Come on. Let the race come 
to us. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. I've had no choice but to let the race come to me, Jim. There's an incident in turn five. So, Axel, he was three seconds almost slower than me on that lap. I wonder if it's carrying an issue. That's a bit late. I'll get away with that, that's not going to massively affect lap time by the looks of it. Whatever that incident was in turn five, it's not resulted in anybody towing to the pits. Oh, went wide. I think. Don't touch that car. You touched Karen, it, didn't you? You Gavin touched it. 12 seconds. You passed this lap for your hands. 219.74. I have in practice just touched that grass. Sometimes the rear wheels snap right round on you. Best exit. to get this lap back so 226 we must have had another incident what am I aiming for 221 again I'm back in the 221s Jim I was still five seconds you never know straighten up thank you Oh, sorry, nine, I can't count. Seven minutes and 20 seconds to try and close a 10.6 second gap. Or, let's take a quick sneak. Possibly 11 laps. Oh, 11 laps to go. Two laps to go. Is it two or not? Oh, surely can't only be two to go, surely. Maybe three to go. Yeah, it's got to be at least three, surely. So it takes two minutes a lap. Tom just just plummeted off the leaderboard. Is that who I was chasing down, or was that somebody else? It's a new fastest lap for your hands. 219.65. These lap times, those guys are saying, are phenomenal. Deep into Canada corner. The gap in front is now 10 seconds. Ah, oh, didn't take much out of him that lap. Uh, not a good exit. Was slower than last lap, Jim. We are in 8th place now. P8. OK here, lap times are pretty consistent. Yeah, I'd like him to be a little bit faster though, Jim. Consistency's great. And everything, but sometimes you just want to be that little bit faster. Left. 
Max Axles lap time. Oh, it's only 1.8 seconds I gained in that time. this far into the video, thank you very much. Because all you've done is watch me go around and natter on about all sorts of stuff. seconds that even I just see him I did just see him briefly Let's just see him again. Oh, the leaders must be far enough ahead. Oh, we're going to get a couple more. Okay, I can see him. Oh no, this it is him. I thought for a minute I was looking at a back marker. Do we can put some more pressure on? All right, Ian, we're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 7.7. .7. Look like that, I won't. What was that lap? That was 2.3 seconds faster. Oh, I'm going to be so close if I can actually be consistent here. for quite a good lap there. I can definitely see him now. Let's go. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. You never know. A bit of pressure. If he sees that time coming down, you never know. Might be just enough to put him off a little bit. Good exit here, am I? But I can definitely closer. Blew that though, because that could have been a half decent lap. Oh no, only one lap. Only one lap. Oh, I was really hoping to get two more laps. Two and a half seconds a lap. That's a shame. Let's keep it on, mate. Could have been worse. Could have been much, much worse with having to have a fuel stop.
Fastest lap for Johansson, 219.42. Damn, that was the hardest for the victory in the wild with me. <laughs> nice driving. Damn, that toe is so strong. Johansson is now leading. That's a phenomenal lap time. I gave it me all, I gave it me all to try and close that gap. One more lap, but I might have got there. <laughs> We're well, at least half the deficit, I think it was at minus 80 at one point, wasn't it? That's the end of the race. Never mind. Oh, Jim. One and a half seconds slower than the leaders. I've got some serious work to do. Although I was using the sprint setup, I guess that was the only thing I would say there. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're using the sprint setup, of course. Right, let's get this pulled over and look at what I suspect is only going to be a few incidents. We go for a race start. We got a good start. I was very pleased with that. That window definitely appears to be a bit tricky to get off the line. So you're going to get a lovely view of my new livery on the TCR Honda. And I went for the very, very matte finish. I learned, sp I learned all about spec maps. And I went for the mattest. It's probably not even a word. Finish you could possibly get. I like it. But then I'm biased. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can track down an incident. We have found an incident. It's in the kink. It's going to require a few views because it involves a few cars. So we're taking it a look at first car angle. Hyundai that's just clouted the front of that Audi, we're looking at from his viewpoint. Okay, so this is the Hyundai I spoke about, we're doing it from their viewpoint. And it's going to hurt, I warn you. It might also induce some dizziness. Watch this pinball though. Causes the car to bounce so violently back off that barrier. That's just phenomenal. Right, I'm going to watch it once more time, but from obviously the external view. Okay, here we are. We're watching this from the external view, and it frankly doesn't get any better. It's such a hard hit that number 12 makes on that car to the side. actually morph into each other. Oh, we lost a wheel as well. Look at that bouncing down the road. Wow. You've got to love that bounce back off the uh, barrier there. And there we go. That was his race, I'm sure, totaled. Let's see if we can find any more incidents. All right, it's got to be said, most of the incidents seem to have involved the kink. I'm not picking on this guy, but this one was the most spectacular of the single car kink crashes. And there we go. That's all the incidents from this race. Now let's quit out and check to see what that's done for safety rating. And I rating, I fear for the red. So here we are at the results screen. Our strength of field for this one split was 2k we did at least get some green on the safety rating with a 0.15 gain as expected we are in the red it's a minus 44 our i rating change our top three was david jawoski because i'm not going to attempt to say the first name because i know i'll get that very very wrong and then we have carlos who is third i think david did take the honor for fastest lap as well and may have even taken the honour for 
most I rating game just about with 49. The biggest loss is not me. We have Francisco with minus 63. So there we have it. It wasn't maybe the most exciting race because of my what's it up with the fuel. But actually, it was good to actually take part in a longer race. And I really should do these more frequently. I guess I just steer clear of them because it's set up. You probably do need to master the setups. Whereas fixed setup, at least I'm jumping in. I know anybody else that's in the Honda. Not that there was anybody else in the Honda. Um, anybody else <laughs> is in the Honda is at least using the same setup apart from maybe, obviously, the one thing you can change is your brake bias. And that's it. Otherwise, it's these 30-minute races. As I say, I ended up using the sprint setup because I tried the VRS setup and I was just all over the place. So I just thought, I've got to play it safe. Go with sprint. As I say, it had minus two rear wing. The VRS had minus four. I couldn't get through the kink. And actually seeing the number of incidents in the kink, I feel kind of justified um, that I took that. As I say, if it wasn't for that fuel... I'm looking at that. I'm guessing I might have got fourth place. I, I was I was not on the pace of the top three. Not on the pace of the top three at all. So I think best I would have got in that race would have been fourth, which being car number four, I guess, you know, it all adds up. So there we go. If you stayed here right to the end of this one, thank you very much. And I will hopefully see you again very soon. Bye. <laughs>